Hey guys, reaching out this morning from beautiful Newport Beach. Today we are going to learn how to move pictures over on your website sections. Sometimes you have a picture and when you put it in just the way that um, you can put it there on the section, it's just not quite in the right spot and you want to move it over a smidge. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually really easy. And don't forget to stay till the end. That's when we check in with Sophie the Beach Bulldog. That's always a lot of fun. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the awesome tutorials coming up in the next few weeks. All right, let's jump in. Okay, then we're all set. Um, I'm starting off here in a section where I have already dropped a background image in and also a text box. If you have questions about how to change the background, what I've done here is just kind of a, a split color. There is another video um, on just how to do background, so you can totally check that out. Um, but when you click in your section here, you can click anywhere in this, in this box, you will have the side part come up that just tells you what's in, in that section. Right now, all I have is a text box, which is this part right here that says um, awesome headline. And what I want to add is a picture. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add content. And I'm going to come down here to where it says image and click on that. And I'm going to select an image. I already have one in here. Actually, I'm going to have to upload it again. Upload a new file, and then just pick your file from wherever you've got it saved. And then save it. So what this is going to do is it's going to bring up a picture and it's going to make it super big um, because right now it's set at this very large, if you look over here on the left hand side, how many columns it is. It won't fit right now because your text box is, box is already five columns. And so there's only 12 columns available. So it's going to put it and, and make it super big. I actually want to put it on the left side of my text. And so right here, I'm going to make it five columns wide. So you just click on the box of the number of how, however many columns you want. And it's on the wrong side right now. So I'm going to click back into my section, scroll up to the top. And these two little hashtag marks here, I'm just going to grab it and pull it up. So now the image will be on the left hand side. Now what this whole video is about is how to make sure that picture is in the right spot. So let's save it and you want to kind of go back and forth with your preview just so you can see exactly where everything is. But your preview is this little box right here and just click on that. You're going to see exactly how it's going to look. All right, so that doesn't look bad, um, but I think I would like a little bit more space here uh, between the picture and the text. And so that is what I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm gonna go back into where we're, we're editing here. And I'm going to show you two different ways on how to do this. So the first way is to actually go into your text box here. So you're going to click on the left here where it says text. And you're going to scroll down to where it says desktop layout. And you're going to scroll down a little bit more where it says outside spacing. And what you can do here is you can push that text box over by adding spaces. So we want to push it over from the left. And so I'm going to add spaces here on the left hand side where it says outside spacing. Um, let's do like 40. Do you see how it pushed it over? So you can really play with however you want things to show up, whether you want it to go up or down or to the right or to the left. And you can save it. And then you want to go back in and check the preview again and just see how that looks. Wow, that's probably right. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more way to do it. I'm going to go back into Kajabi and I'm going to make this zero again, just so we're starting from the beginning. 
and I'm going to save it. And the second way that you can move a picture is by adding um, spacing in the form of code. So don't let that scare you. It's going to be super easy. And really, this could be a total game changer for you um, because you'll use this all the time. What you're going to do is come up here and click in your section again. We're going to add another block. Scroll up and click on Add Content. This time you're going to click on this one here that says custom code. And a custom, the code's gonna come up just like any other thing with it's gonna have a set number of columns. You only want just a small amount of spacing, so we're just going to make this one. You don't have to do anything at all here with um, this code that's in the box. In fact, if you want it to be a spacer, don't do anything with that, leave it exactly as is. And let's save it. Okay, just so you can see where it comes up, anytime that you add content, it's going to add it to the bottom of the list. So right now, if you look at your screen, you're going to have your image, then your text, and then this little box. So click in your section. We're going to scroll up. And do you remember how to move that around? You're going to grab these two little hashtags and drag that custom code. So now it will be image, and then the spacer, the padding here, and then the box. And let's save it. Super easy, right? You're going to be using that spacer all over the place. And now let's preview. Amazing. All right, so hopefully that explained exactly how you move a picture around. Uh, the way I moved the text box is exactly how you would move a picture if you want to move it up or down uh, or to the left or the right. You're just going to go down into the, um, the, the desktop layout and add outside spacing. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. We're going to check in on Sophie.